good morning everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Trisha and this is my YouTube channel 3L Threads where I talk about cross stitch and other crafty items happy last day of 2020 I'm excited I'm excited to go into the new year I'm excited I hope you're excited too today this morning it's um last so last day of December it is December 31st 2020 it's Thursday right I don't even know yes it's Thursday and this morning I am here to talk to you about WIPGO 2021 so this is the brainchild of Jessie from Jessie Marie does stuff here on YouTube I don't know when she started it a couple few years ago maybe and I just finally was like you know what I'm going to try this. I love a good challenge. I usually fall off somewhere in the middle. I'm not mad about it. I don't take it personal. I'm not disappointed with myself, but, but I enjoy a challenge. And the point a whip go is like bingo, right? You create a board, you put your whips in it. It doesn't have to be whips. It can be new starts, whatever. It's your board. And then every month, Jesse will call two numbers. 13 the middle square is free um, so if that gets called she calls a new number and then you set goals for all of your cross stitch projects or knitting projects or quilting projects whatever it's your board who cares so I set goals based on what I felt like I could accomplish right because we all like to feel good about ourselves and accomplishing things so I picked 24 projects because the middle square is free and I assigned goals to each of those and then um, every month I'll have two projects to work on and within that month I need to reach my goals and at the end you're encouraged to come up with some type of reward for yourself I don't have one I don't need a reward for myself um, it'll just, it would be nice to see it through. <laughs> so today we're going to have a little, uh, whip go 2021 whip parade. And I'm going to tell you about my monthly goals or my project goals for the year of 2021. So let's get started. These are not in any specific order. Um, I just grabbed them. So first one is uh, Where Flowers Bloom by Rami's Creations. This I do have in my Etsy shop if you're interested. This was a Stitch Mania 2020 start. And I will pull this out again so you can see. So the pattern again is by Rami's Creations and she has a floss pad. This is kind of it thrown together of her own hand dyed flosses also available in my Etsy shop. I am using those and I am using um, a 32 count fabric. I think it's a Ship's Manor fabric from his Prim Fabric of the Month, but I'm not for sure. And I bet if anybody's interested and you go back to my Stitch Mania vlogs for 2020, you'll know. Ooh, that blows out okay so just so you know like this is the color there you go it's like a rusty color and this is where I'm at so that blows it all out I've got three colors in there so part of the bird cage and the top of this flower my goal for this one is five hours, I believe. Most of my goals are either finish because they're close or five hours. I feel like I can give five hours to a project. In fact, on a weekend, I can knock those goals right out of the park. So where flowers bloom, Rami's creations with the flosses, five hours. I can do it. Okay, next. Also a Stitch Mania start for 2020. Um, Strutting Tom by Lindy Stitches. This was a kit that she put together for um, 
Nashville Needlework Market. I don't think that I have any of these available anymore, but you can check my Etsy shop. I snagged one for myself because of course I did. So in this, there is the floss. So that definitely came with a kit because I see that I separated it. It came with a fabric. Yes. And it comes with all the finishing materials. It would be nice to get that done. I don't know that I will <laughs> this year. But it would be nice. Oh, it even comes with the interfacing. I didn't even see that. Sweet. Okay. So this one... And I'm looking at my whip board, my whip go board, so that I remember. Okay, so yes, five hours for this one. And I think this is the way it goes. And that's it. This is, it, I think, yeah, 32 count taupe Lugana. And these are the week's dye works that are called for. And there are some DMCs needed as well. Five hours is my goal. And this does not mean that I won't get started. Look. Look. I do what I want. I do what I want. Right? So I might, this might get called and I'm going to be like, no. And it's fine. I don't think it will because I really do want to meet my goals. But if I want to work on this until it's done, I do what I want. It's good to have goals though. Okay. Third, <laughs> you can tell this is the pile I pulled from um, from my Stitch Mania. Also, a Stitch Mania start, and I don't think that there's a picture that I can show. Yeah, I can't show the picture on this one, but this pattern came from the Nashville 2020 cookbook, and it is called, it's on page 34 for those of you that have this and I might have one or two of these left in my shop because you can purchase them. Um, this is the one that I got for attending. So this is on page 34. It's called Blue and Red Tile by um, Juliana, no, Julia, sorry, Manfredini. And is she from, yeah, that's it, Juliana, no. Julia. God, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's fine. So I am doing this with the called for colors, which is Dinky Dye's Bottle Brush and Dinky Dye's Dream Time. These are the colors. And this is where I'm at. So this is just a teeny tiny ornament. It is on a picture of this plus 32 count I don't know what, it's just like just a teeny tiny bit, like a foggy, almost like a pink ethereal. So I, this is probably maybe 35, 40% done. This goal is a finish. I can finish this. It's teeny tiny. Also, a Stitch Mania start for this year and a goal, a goal of five hours, is Hollow Eden by Plum Street Samplers. I did a crazy conversion. I just don't think that I, I either didn't like what was there or I didn't have them all. I probably didn't have them all, which is ridiculously insane. And this is what's completed so far. I think I said my goal on this is five hours. Clearly I'm not finishing this, um, but I'm excited to get back to it. And I am not doing the pumpkin version. There are two versions. I don't think I have pictures of both. I don't. There are two versions, though. There is like a a literal Halloween version with little jack-o'-lanterns. And then there is just a fall version, I guess. Um, 
or the, the normal, the regular. And so I'm doing the regular. I don't want, I don't want jack-o'-lanterns on mine. Um, this fabric is Picture This Plus Nessie. And I know that because I just see my note. Five hours. All right, next we've got another Stitch Mania start. Again, these were all, I pulled these from my Stitch Mania starts. We'll get to the really old ones in a minute. Needle Small with Magic Power by Dutch Treat Designs. Absolutely and totally enabled to purchase this by Felicity Stitches, um, Jen. And, oh goodness. And I've got zero needle on here, apparently. That's okay. I am stitching mine, which totally works with, I mean, if you look at the cover design, I love this. This is um, being stitched with Weeks Dye Works Red Rocks. Red Rocks? Yes. And this is a 32 count linen from Ships Manor called Mummy Wraps. It is my favorite from Ships Manor. And that's where I'm at. And my goal on this is five hours. Another Stitch Mania start for 2020 is the Homely House Plants. Stitch Along, and this is from uh, Stitchonomy on Etsy. Um, I think Lily at 42 Stitches was, 42 Stitches on Instagram, was stitching this, and it really, I had to. So, I don't remember which version I was doing. I think it's this one I'm pretty sure so that's the cover sheet and this is how much I got done during stitch mania not very much my goal for this project is two plants so I'll finish this plant and then move on to Probably, probably this one, or I mean, this one's big. That one's really cute. It could be any of them. This is full of French knots, so I'm probably not going to do that one right away. Up there, isn't that cute? And this is picture this plus. I think it's Demoiselle, but I'm not for sure. Why I didn't write this stuff down is beyond me. It might be on my Instagram. I really need to take better notes. Uh, next, and one that I will be working on in January, is a Chatelaine. The first and only Chatelaine that I have started and not finished. I have such a mind block with this one. So I will have to insert a picture of what it looks like because my copy is um, digital and I do have some things printed out, but let's be real. When you print out a Chatelaine, it looks like this. It's so tiny. Like, nope. Nope. And I think that's part of the reason why I can't get into it. I need my iPad to work on it and then I can't like watch YouTube. Oh, I can. I can use my phone. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I have all the things that I got from European Cross Stitch, right? And I'm stitching it on a 32 count raw linen. Yeah, raw natural linen from Witch Elt. And I don't even know. Yep, it goes this way. 
this is this is all I have. I started this ages ago, years, like maybe 2017, maybe. And I think it was a Stitch Mania start. Mm. So goal on this is five hours. I need to get started. Also called this month. Also a whip that's been languishing for so long is the Frosted Pumpkin Halloween Town. I've had this for so long. So my goal is five hours on this. I purchased the kit a long time ago. So all of the called for colors and the called for fabric are being used. I think this is a 28 count, 28 count picture this plus something. I don't know. Oh, Crystal Wren, 28 count. So this is where I am at currently. And the goal for this is five hours. Just want to see some progress. Next, got finish goals for this one. This was also a Stitch Mania 2020 start that you'll see, you'll see. So Coffee First by Brenda Gervais. I think I have one of these left in my Etsy shop. I still need to source that spoon. I think I could get it from uh, Country Stitches Online, which is Brenda Gervais' shop, because I really like that finish. I am using a mishmash of, I don't know if any of these are called for. I'm using what I have from Stash. And all I have left is the coffee cup. Just the coffee cup. And it's a big one. So this is on a thir or 13, a uh, 32 count, which I'll lend in like cafe, I'll, Ale, I, I'm not sure. I can never get it right. French, mocha, I don't know. Finish. <clears throat> Need to get that done. And if I don't challenge myself to finish it, it just won't because what's left is that big coffee pot or coffee cup. And that's not going to be fun stitching. Right. Next up is my Prairie Schooler Santa. So I have one, uh, which is 1992. Ooh, I just found a pair of scissors. Hooray. <laughs> 1992. I started this with uh, Sim Swank on Instagram. She probably has hers done. Um, this I also started for Diana's It Is Kismet her Christmas in July birthday stitch along. So I have this much done. So I have to finish filling his basket. I have to finish coloring in his coat with the gold. Um, oh no, that's done. And I have to give him a head. <laughs> So there's not tons left on this and this goal is a finish. And I also have another one then that I'll be starting, which is not part of my goal, but I will start it, which is the Sunflower Santa, the 1994, because I love this. I love sunflowers and I think it's pretty. So I've already got, I've already got the fabric cut for that. And look, I have something extra. This must be my first start and I changed, did I change the color of the wool? 
Yep, and I just have to, I guess I just have to rip it out. So this also I am stitching in hand. It's 18 count um, oatmeal Ada, rustic Ada. I don't know. It's 18 count Ada. And I um, am using Whisper for the edge of his coat and for his beard. So that is a finished goal. This just fell out of the bag. This, ooh, hello. This is, I don't remember when I started this. Yes, I do. I started this, which is from Kitten Stitcher. It's from Shakespeare's Peddler. Um, S Ward, a little rag. It was an exclusive kit that she had in her shop. And I started this a year ago in October. Um, I started it at the Mid Michigan Stri Stitchers Retreat. <clears throat> And this is how much I've gotten done. It is the silk. This is red silk. It came in the kit. The fabric, I'm pretty sure, came in the kit too. The needle minder is from the retreat. And if you look, all I have left are these, I think they're four-sided stitches. And, and this bottom, yeah. So let me get in. Those take a lot of time. A lot of time. But I'm pretty sure, yep, my goal for this is a finish. It may, yeah, my goal for this is a finish. We'll see. It's a lot of stitching. <laughs> Those. But I think I can do it once I really get started. I hope. Next up is Lottie Da's For a Friend. This was a kit that was at um, Nashville. I think I'm all out now. It came with the fabric, the silk, and the ruffle and some velour on the back and this is also a finished goal I believe I'm sure it is because I'm so close to done so this is a 36 count linen that came with I think maybe 35 36 count straw linen by Weeks Dye Works, and it's um, one strand of Gloriana silk over two threads. Ow, this is not as much as I thought. <laughs> I thought I had more done. So I'd have to finish the border. I'm not even halfway done with the border, and then put the two birds in, put the basket and the flowers, and that part is done. 2020 not gonna happen it'll be 2021 and whether I fix that or not who knows I might I might change it who knows so this is a finish goal we have in this furry mommy bag Mm. Haven't seen this since last year's Whip Parade. This is a five hour goal. It is a Speak to the Earth sampler by Cooler, Cooler Designs. And let me see if I can find, here we go. This is what it looks like. Not stitched, obviously, this is the digital rendering. You can get this pattern at uh, CoolerDesign.com, which is where I got it, as a digital download. And I started this sometime last year. 
The fabric is uh, Fabrics by Stephanie Sorbet. I love this so much. I should probably trim this fabric. So this is the halfway mark on page, I don't know what page. I'm, st I'm sure I'm still on page one, but this is the halfway mark of the chart. So, oh my goodness. So this is all in DMC. This writing and this writing is um, one over one. <clears throat> and if I didn't say, it's a 32 count even weave. So if I come back here, you can see the color a little bit better. Goal on this is five hours. I love this so much. I am super excited. I'm super excited to come back to this. This getting getting this done would be a crowning achievement. It's not getting done anytime super soon. Cause that's a big sampler. But oh it's so pretty. <sighs> okay. I have to stop staring at it. Five hour goal. All right, next I have my Mirabilia Tree of Hope. This is a five hour goal. So what she looks like, I started this so long ago. So long ago. This is where I'm at. Not very far. Oh. I love this so much though. It's so beautiful. This fabric is either a 28 or a 32 count. Picture this plus something here it is nocturne oh i'm stitching something else currently on that uh 28 count jubilee i don't know if they sell jubilee anymore but i sure do love it i will love it it's a great even weave so five hours also a mirabilia that really needs to be done but I think I put this down as a five hours because I believe it's deceiving is uh, Nora Corbett's Gwen also started this five million years ago and I'm stitching her on 32 count linen in sand from Witch Out. And this is what she looks like. So other than beading and a little bit in her hat, she is done. And I just have to do the fence and the beading. So five hours. If that five hours gets me to a finish, that would be great. I don't think that it's going to, though. you know what else? I need some black beads. Like five of them. I wonder if I can take five beads from this bead pack. I might do that. Ooh, pick up. I have seen this one come up on a few people's whip go boards. Well, a couple for sure. Coffee Stitcher and uh, Delicious Jen. I've seen it. It is the Zodiac Sampler from Clouds Factory. So I bought this kit when I first started cross stitching again. This was like my first really big purchase and I was super stoked about it. And then I got really nervous about it and I didn't want to do it anymore and I got intimidated and I'm not really sure why because that's silly. Um, 
but it's this one is hard for it's hard for me to want to work on but I did a couple times this year earlier in the year I did pull it out and I was able to finish a couple motifs but this is where this is where I'm at um, oh, my nose this is on 16 count Ada whatever the kit came with I don't remember now um, this was charted got a little thread on there this was charted for a DMC satin nope nope so I did a couple rings in the satin and then thought mm -mm, that's not happening so I subbed it out for a Mo's sale <coughs> and this is <coughs> excuse me this is called Milky Way it's a cotton I very much love it goodness like I said I bought the kit so I'm using all of the threads that are called for except for the Milky Way and the stars the like little speckly stars I'm using a Krynik and I think it's pearl and I don't know if you can see any of it shimmer but in real life it's beautiful so my goal for this is two months to get done beyond what's here so like this guy still needs his constellations I don't know I'm gonna do at least two of these and two constellations and I don't know what's happening over here we'll see I'll figure it out I do what I want do what I want next up is um, I think I started this in October I talked about this in my Flossmas video. I don't remember what I said though. This is Hands Across the Sea. It's a little jewel, a little gem. I don't remember what she calls them. Uh, Jane Marshall, 1857. That's what it looks like. And if you watched my Flossmas, and I know not everybody did, I did show this. And as a reminder, all I have left to do is that bottom border. It's all done. And I have toyed with the idea of just not completing that bottom border, but I need to complete it. So this is a finish goal for me, for when it's called. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. So that'll be nice to pull back out. Here is another Stitch Mania start. It was a kit, I think it was a Lottie Dot exclusive from the Nashville market. I don't think I have any of these left in my store. Um, it's the Home Needle Book kit. And it comes with everything that you see. So not only do I need to finish stitching it, but I really need then to put it together. I thought I was a lot, I thought I was a lot um, further than I am. So this is what I have. And this is a five hour goal. Thank goodness. Because that house is a big one. I really did think I was a lot further. And this is charted with DMC, which came in the kit with all of the materials. Next one is actually one that I worked on this year. I think I worked on it for Sampler September, but I literally can't remember. And I completed part two. So I don't have a picture of this because it's a download freebie, but I'll try to insert a picture. It is the Jardim Privé Way to Happiness stitch along. And I com just completed this year part two. Here we go. And so my goal my goal for this is part three. So here is one and two. 
This is stitched on a 28 count fabrics by LJ. He's no longer dying. It's called peanut butter and jelly. Also a 2020 Stitch Mania start. This is the Sweetheart Sampler from Blackbird Designs. I bought it as a kit. It came with a uh, floss and fabric, but the fabric cut for it was, it would not fit. So that was weird. So I chose a Ship's Manor Prim fabric. Don't know what month or year even. Could have been, I don't know. I've used it for a couple things. Anyway, the color matches almost perfect. This is a five hour goal. This is as far as I got. These rice stitches in the K are my favorite. I think they're rice stitches. You can correct me if I'm not right. Um, but I love it. And that's a 32 count. So that is a five hour goal. Next up is one that is one of my favorites, but it's a biggie. I don't know when I'm ever going to get it done. <laughs> and that is Paradise Lost by Plum Street Samplers. There we go. So I first saw this when Coffee Stitcher was stitching it several years ago. He doesn't have his done yet either, but he's way farther along than I am. And I did work on this. I don't know when it was, but I did. I've worked on it. This is as far as I'm at right now. And it's a five hour goal. This is stitched all with DMC, I believe. Looks like it, because I don't have any specialty threads in here. And it's two over two. And it is a 32 count cream Lugana from Witch Elf. All right, next is one that I started a few years ago and I haven't touched, I haven't touched in probably two years. It is by Bygone Stitches and it's One Nation. This one is funny because my margin <laughs> is like do you remember? Do you remember me sharing that before several years ago? Oh my gosh. Anyway, it's a five hour, um, five hour goal on this and this is where I am at. Oh, it's so big. There we go. So I don't know where my five hours are going to be spent whether I'll do the stars over here or whether I'll probably just do more words. But you see, <laughs> it'll take some tricky framing. Though I don't think that I'm gonna frame this. I think that I prefer to have it as a wall hanging, in which case it won't be bad at all. Five hours. Another five hour goal for one that I've had languishing for way too long is Three Snakes in Paradise by Kathy Barrick. I purchased this and the NPI Silks in Las Vegas um, at Stitcher's Paradise. I couldn't remember what it was called. So it was expensive. <laughs> it was expensive to get up because NPI silks are, are very pricey, but I wanted to, um, you know, I wanted the experience and the experience does not disappoint. It really doesn't worth it. So this is where I'm at. Um, the original design has all of this filled in with blue. I am not doing that. So I won't, I won't have to worry about that. five-hour goal on it 
And my last, my last one for my Whipco board is also one that's been languishing for far too long. It is the Spirit of Christmas Mystery Sampler. Long since not a mystery anymore. So this is what it looks like finished. I don't even remember. I was hoping to see the date on it. If it is, it's probably, oh, 2017. 2017. So this is a three part sampler, a four part, one, two, I think I have three open, one, two, three, four. I think it's a four part. Anyway, I have parts one and two oh, done. Um, I bought the kit. I almost pulled this out for me to stitch on this month. And then I thought, oh, and then I didn't. So this is, I don't, I'm not even sure if I have all of part two done. I mean, yeah, I don't think I have all of part two done. I think I'm just starting. So my goal for this is one part, I think. I better look to make sure. Spirit of Christmas. Oh, no, just five hours. Okay. I was smart. So just five hours. Uh, this is, picture this plus Heartland, I believe. Whatever the kit came with. And that is my Whipgo board. I think I can do it. I think it'll be a fun challenge. I, I enjoy, I enjoy a good challenge. Um, but I refuse to let myself stress out about it. So, like I said, I do what I want. And if I decide in March that I don't want anymore, then I'm not gonna. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. So, um, yeah, that's also kind of my plans for 2021. This does not mean, I think I said this earlier, this doesn't mean that I'm not going to stitch on other things, obviously. Um, but... Those are some pieces that I would like to see some progress on. So I hope you enjoyed a little peek at my uh, box of shame because, you know, they'll all get done eventually, either by me or somebody else when I'm dead and gone. It's fine. I hope you all are having a fantastic New Year's Eve. Looks a little bit different this year, but I think that we can make the best of it and go into 2021 feeling really good. So that's how I feel. I hope that you're able to find that mindset as well. Uh, thank you for being here and I'll see you in my next video.